we have a global keynote speaker who is a broadcast journalist, talk show host, and what I thought was amusing, an improv artist. Let me introduce Vivian Magda Mangalinda with Your Face is So Loud. So remember, keep your keep your microphones on mute because our faces will be loud until Vivian tells us otherwise. Vivian, to you. Your face, your face is really loud. <laughs> I love it. Have you ever been in a meeting? Remember the good old days of face to face, where the room was quiet, absolute silence, but you would see people like. You could almost hear what was going on in their thought bubbles, right? I actually have an online friend, also in Toastmasters. She's so cute, but she's so shy. She never says anything. But during the Zoom proceedings on gallery, she's laughing out loud and she's going, but she never says anything. So think about that in the whole manual, in the level of those masters where it says understanding your communication style they might want to add that your face is so loud so let me share with all of you today my life experience with the different ways people communicate first things first i get very confused communicate collaborate cooperate something about co co it's me and you. But then I've been thinking all this time and it's become a running joke with uh, Ryan and many of the other clubs where I give talks. The moment I'll say, let me tell you three things. <laughs> I am talking to you. And if it's something you've never heard before, you might feel like I'm talking at you, but wouldn't it be so much nicer if we all learn to talk with each other? If you allow me to talk with you, for example, if you go out on a date, or when you first went out on a date, for those of us who are over 25, you will never say, let me tell you three things why you're going to love me and say you'll marry me. Like, no, 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 no. Let us decide just for today's exercise that communication will be conversation style. And that is my communication style. I know those of you who have taken several pathways are aware, if you remember. What's your communication style, if you remember? You can type it in the chat box and we'll be happy to share with each other. But there are people who are initiating Extroverts like me, I walk into a room and say, hi, I don't know anybody. Can I talk to somebody? I know to say that, and Ryan knows that. David knows that. Most of you know that. And then there's the direct communication style, which is many, many times misinterpreted as strict, but not really. I'm in broadcast. I'm a talk show host. We are timed by the second, not by the minute. So when people tell me, oh, can you please be a little bit kinder? Say, I hope you don't mind, please. Like You can't do that when the director behind the glass wall just goes cut. That means zip it because the commercial is going to come in and cut me. Yes, that is what the director does. The director talks in a direct style. So I tell people, because I direct, <laughs> this is funny, produce and host all at the same time, people see me giving hand signals to the tech people. There's a glass wall between me and the tech people during the show. And if the people are not paying attention, I'm like, and if not, I actually go and say, hey, tech, you know, <laughs> we just have to do things like that. Now, there's... I mentioned initiating, hi, hello, I'm Vivian and I don't know anybody. There's direct where we have to tell you on the spot, live. 
up to the minute. Then there's the people who are what you call analytical, who will say, let me think about it. It is fine if that is your line of work. But for today, I'm going to ask your help. You can give comments in the chat or later. And David, who is my evaluator, help me become a better communicator as a conversationalist in the best possible way that you can. Give me your commentaries. Conversational communication is my choice because I feel that if I just tell and tell and tell, and you'll see in my heart, you see this, show and tell, that's my show. I show and tell, and I always ask. Because I found out that if I tell, and that I'm not sure people like what I'm saying, that's going to be the end of my show. So even here, I always ask. Now, let me ask you, initiating, direct, what did I say? The supportive, the ones who are in my tech room, and the analytical who are speaking jargon that I don't understand, which becomes a problem when we have meetings because we are the talk show hosts. We talk to strangers every week, and the tech are speaking jargon. Question, how do I solve that? I find a middleman. People ask, but what if we're different? Well, you have to finish a job now, as in now. Find a person who understands both sides. Are you with me so far? If the two of you don't understand each other, can you possibly find a third person who is able to understand both sides, especially if you're running everything online? The people who are on analytical generally take a little longer because they think of 2,000 steps, but the people who are direct need it because we're live. And supportive, is the one somewhere from admin who says, after this meeting, let me explain what happened. And then they have all the time in the world to discuss everything in four different ways. What are the four different ways? Initiating, direct, analytical, and supportive. Therefore, you will notice when we talk, and for those of you who have been with me for quite a while, I always say, so what's your headline? If, you wanna, if you're talking too long, I say, what's your headline? If it still doesn't work, I quickly go, so what's your bottom line that I'm supposed to understand and remember? That is what I do because I need everything yesterday. I don't need it now. I need it yesterday because we're live. It doesn't mean I'm right. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just means that conversational for me works best because I get what you're thinking and what you're feeling on the spot and I can adjust accordingly and both ways. I hope it works that way. Hope I served you well. Sending you love, hugs, and kisses from Manila. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you, Vivian. Uh, let's take a minute out and send Vivian your thoughts on her speech. So.